Air Taxi. Imagine flying over the city in a pilotless, electric-powered aircraft that can take you from point A to point B in minutes without a pilot on board. Sounds like science fiction, right? Well, not anymore. China-based Ehang has become the world's first company to receive airworthiness certification for its fully autonomous, passenger-carrying air taxis. What are electric air taxis? Ehang's EH216S air taxis are electric vertical takeoff and landing EVTOL, aircraft that can carry up to two passengers or 600 pounds of cargo. They are powered by 16 electric rotors and can fly at speeds of up to 80 mph and distances of up to 18 miles. How do electric air taxis operate without pilots? The air taxis are controlled by a centralized command and control center that monitors the flight status, routes and weather conditions. Passengers can simply select their destination on a touchscreen inside the cabin and enjoy the ride without worrying about piloting the aircraft. The air taxis do not require traditional infrastructure such as airports or runways. They can take off and land vertically from any flat surface, such as a rooftop, parking lot, or park. The air taxis use electric power to reduce environmental harm caused by emissions. They can be fully charged in two hours and have low noise levels. The EH216S vehicles have multiple redundancies in their systems, such as backup batteries, rotors, and communication links. They also have emergency landing systems and parachutes in case of any malfunction. How did these China-based electric air taxis get the approval to fly? Since 2014, over 40,000 test flights have been conducted in various locations around the world. In January 2021, Ehang applied for a type certificate from the Civil Aviation Administration of China CAAC, which is the official recognition of the airworthiness of an aircraft. The CAAC evaluated Ehang's air taxis for over 500 parameters, such as structural strength, software simulation, flight performance and electromagnetic compatibility. The process took more than 1,000 days and involved extensive laboratory, ground and flight tests. On October 15, 2023, Ehang announced that it had received certification from the CAAC, making it the first company in the world to obtain such a certification for passenger-carrying EVTOL aircraft. This means that Ehang can now start commercial operations of its air taxis in China. As Ehang's founder chair and CEO Wazi Hu said, embracing the certification as our springboard, we will launch commercial operations of the EH216S air taxis, prioritizing safety above all. What are the potential applications of electric air taxis? Ehang's air taxis have a wide range of potential applications for urban air mobility, UAM, which uses aerial vehicles to provide transportation services in urban areas. They can help you avoid traffic jams and save time on your commute. They can also take you to places that are hard to reach by car or public transportation. Whether you need to go to a business meeting, a tourist attraction or a hospital, Ehang's air taxis can get you there quickly and conveniently. Ehang's air taxis can also offer you a new perspective of the city with views of the skyline, landmarks and nature, all from above. Beyond just transporting people, these aircraft can be used for delivering goods, such as packages, medical supplies or food. They can also be used for emergency situations, such as natural disasters or accidents. In those situations where time is of the essence, these vehicles could transport much-needed medical personnel or equipment to the scene quickly and safely. What are the challenges for pilotless air taxis? Ehang's air taxis are a groundbreaking innovation that could revolutionize the future of transportation. However, they also face some challenges in terms of regulation, technology, market demand and social acceptance. One big hurdle is working to gain social acceptance and trust from the public. The manufacturer needs to educate and inform us about the benefits and risks of UAM. It also needs to address the potential issues and concerns of noise, privacy and environmental impact. For its part, Ehang has been conducting public demonstrations and campaigns to raise awareness and confidence in UAM. Ehang's air taxis are a pioneering achievement that could transform how we travel in cities across this country. By receiving the first industry approval for fully autonomous, passenger-carrying air taxis, Ehang has opened up new possibilities and opportunities for UAM. But with all new technology comes challenges, 
and those are what Ehang needs to tackle to be successful moving forward. Like this information, then please hit the bell button and subscribe to our page My Project Paper and stay ahead with valuable research information and projects. When do we see India's first flying taxi? Interglobe Enterprises, IGE, the promoter of India's largest airline Indigo, has tied up with a California-based electric vertical takeoff and landing EVTOL, vehicle startup Archer Aviation to launch an electric air taxi service in India by 2026. What's the plan and what impact will it have? Here's an explainer. What is an EVTOL? Electrical vertical takeoff and landing vehicles, more commonly known as air taxis, are aircraft that hover, fly, take off and land vertically. They are said to be quieter and more environment friendly, generating fewer emissions than existing transport, and are among the latest innovations in transportation technology. They need infrastructure known as vertiports to take off from and land on. EVTOLs are generally able to carry two to five people, including a pilot. RCHER Aviation's E Air Taxi, Midnight, is capable of carrying five people, including a pilot, for about 160 km. The publicly traded San Jose headquartered startup, founded in 2018, is backed by Boeing, United Airlines, and Chrysler's parent Stellantis, among others. What do IGE and Archer Aviation plan to do? GE Managing Director Rahul Bhatia and Archer Aviation's Chief Commercial Officer Nikhil Gol last Thursday signed a Memorandum of Understanding, MO, to partner to provide a revolutionary transportation solution for the country, improving urban mobility with safe, sustainable and low-noise electric air taxi service that is cost-competitive with ground transportation. The project will start out with 200 of Archer's Midnight E aircraft, set to launch in Delhi, Mumbai and Bengaluru. The two companies plan to work with domestic players to operate the aircraft, fund and construct the infrastructure required and train personnel. Apart from an urban air taxi service, use cases related to cargo, logistics, emergency services and private or charter services will be explored. The two companies plan to work with domestic players to operate the aircraft, fund and construct the infrastructure required and train personnel. Apart from an urban air taxi service, use cases related to cargo, logistics, emergency services and private or charter services will be explored. Ow, will the flying taxi service change things? The biggest impact is likely to be on travel time. The two companies said the 27km commute from Delhi's Connaught Place to Gurgaon, which takes 60 to 90 minutes by road, will be cut down to a 7-minute air taxi ride. It may also make the commute experience better given India's congested and noisy roads. The company said in a joint statement that the service will improve mobility in these cities that are facing some of the greatest congestion challenges in the world as India's population is now over 1.4 billion. What are the global developments in urban air mobility? Archer Aviation, which has a market capitalization of around $1.30 billion, said in October that it would also launch an air taxi service in the United Arab Emirates, UAE. Uber's EVTOL initiative Uber Elevate, which was acquired by startup Joby Aviation, had planned to begin its services in Los Angeles and Dallas in the US and Melbourne in Australia in 2023. Joby plans to roll out commercial air taxis by 2024. German aircraft firm Volocopter plans to launch air taxis in Paris by 2024. It is investing in the EVTOL ecosystem, with its all-electric Volo City Air Taxi, Volo Region and Volo Drone initiatives. India's first air taxi service was inaugurated in 2021 by the Haryana government. Under the central government's RCS Uden scheme, the aircraft had the capacity to carry a pilot and three passengers. How big is the flying taxi opportunity? The global EVTOL market is set to grow at 23% compound annual growth rate to surpass $23 billion by 2028, as per Fortune Business Insights. Archer Aviation CEO Adam Goldstein said, India is one of, if not the largest, opportunity for EVTOL aircraft utilization in the world, as it is home to the world's largest population of over 1.4 billion people and its largest cities face some of the greatest congestion challenges in the world. The company said its state-of-the-art electric air taxis will provide a safe and sustainable, low-noise urban mobility solution for India, as it races towards becoming a $5 trillion economy. India is expanding its footprints and scaling in all possible directions, 
there is enough opportunity and high demand for technology evolving products. People are changing to the tune of technology enabled products and services. Surely air taxis will evolve as a major business just like road transport like Uber and Ola. Keep checking our page for regular updates on various technological advancement. Your view, like and subscription help us expand our footprints and keep us motivated.